Hi, welcome to Parametric House. In this Grasshopper Kangaroo tutorial, uh, we're going to deform a simple line uh, into a pipe, a bending rod, and see uh, how Kangaroo can help us to uh, produce the final results. I'm going to show you uh, which components you have to use to simulate the bending rod uh, in Kangaroo and produce the final results. Uh, okay, let's get started from scratch. First, what I want to do is to uh, explain uh, the first part. You can also download this example file from our website. So the first part is really easy. Assume that we have a line. Uh, you can draw it also in Rhino. Uh, then we have to divide it into a series of, of points. You can divide it by going to the curve and using the uh, division divide curve component and what's going to do it's going to divide this line into number of count. The reason we are doing this is to give more details to the line so when it's going to bend it's going to use these smaller lines to bend the final results. Okay after we produce the points uh, we have to convert that into a polyline and connect them together so you just go to the curve and use this polyline uh, component to make this if I bake it uh, you can see that this is a polyline made from those points okay after we produce the polyline uh, we also have to explode it using the curve uh, utility explode component and this is going to also help us to uh, have all of those small segments which we're going to use in the kangaroo plugin so uh, first we have to make the polyline we have to also explode it so we have access to both of them after we produce this uh, to make the kangaroo simulation, uh, we have to make a series of goals. Uh, you can find it in kangaroo uh, menu. We have some, a series of goals. The first uh, obvious goal we have to use is to convert those smaller lines into a series of springs. Uh, you can do that by going to the kangaroo menu in the line sub menu. You can find this length line component and this is going to convert the lines into a series of springs so obviously we have to give the smaller segments to the first input which is going to be the line the length as you can see here says uh, length if none provided starting length will be used so we don't have to give any input to this it's going to be one it's assuming that it's the same length and the springs don't uh, go smaller or bigger and the strength is 1000 to make it a really stiff spring so that is the first goal and i have uh, given this to the goals object you can see we have bring all of the goals inside the data and then give it to the goal object okay okay the next one uh, we want to give is the rod component which you can find it in the goals angle and you can find it here uh, simply we have to give the complete polyline to it we want to say it's a rod uh, just give it to the polyline the length factor again uh, is the target edge length as a multiple of the current length we want one because uh, as i'm going to explain later we just want to have the same length okay uh, there is three factors you can uh, change angle factor uh, axial strength and bend strength but for now we don't want to change that because we have a given a stiff spring to the line so that's going to be okay uh, again you can give the data to the data input for, which is going to go to the goal object of the kangaroo plugin uh, the next thing we want to do here is to change the location of the lines point so when we deform it let me explain this when we have it here and turn on the points here uh, these two points is going to help us to define the location let me just run the simulation uh, the location of the start and the end of the line so this is also important if we want to bend it. So what we should do here is to use the goals point anchor uh, to say that if this is the line, we want to move these points, for example, here and this one here. And obviously it's going to deform the rod. So we have to define those points too. Uh, simply we just have to uh, give the polyline to a curve find the start and the end which is obviously the curve analyzes endpoints component uh, for the 
kangaroo goals point anchor we just have to give the point we want to change their location and the target location uh, also for the strength i have given the number 100 for this one so you just have to play with this number if you want to uh, change the deformation so uh, after increasing uh, extracting the start and the end we're going to say these are the starting point and the target is obviously going to be two points which we can control and change the location that is also going to be another goal we give to the goals object uh, another thing we want to do here is to control the start and the end direction uh, as you can see here if i decrease that and run the simulation again there is no uh, direction constraint on this rod, right? So it's going to deform. But what if we want to say that uh, at the start and the end, we want to put it in direction like X and minus X, a Y or minus Y, okay? That's also going to help us to say that we are grabbing this uh, from here. And so it's completely in a direction we want. That's also helpful, you can use the a direction tool and you can find this direction tool in the goals line and here we have the direction and as you can see here it says uh, align a line segment with a given vector that's exactly what we need uh, it's really easy you just have to first uh, give the complete segments to here and just pick two of them that means the first and the last small segment uh, you can use the list set list item to do that right and just zoom in and hit a plus or minus uh, to do that simply you can go to the sets list item and pick up the segments as you can see here this is going to be the first one and because we wanted to extract the last one we just have to zoom in by hitting the plus it's going to pick up the second uh, segment, which we don't need. Uh, we just have to go here and zoom and hit plus, which is going to go to the last one. And as you can see, we have the first and the last one. Uh, what I wanted to do here is to say the direction component, the line we want to define the direction is going to go to the line inputs. The direction we want here, uh, for example, the last one is in the y minus direction. It's minus y. And this one is plus y direction, right? So we just have to give this two vectors to the inputs. And there's going to be a strength. So if you decrease that, you can see it's not going to they give you anything as you increase it it's going to affect the overall shape so that's also going to go to the last goal uh, another thing that we need here to add is that if we deform this it's going to assume it's in the xy plane as you can see here we have it in the xy plane but what if we want to bring it up for example we just uh, are bending this rod and we want to see it in the uh, going up in the Z direction, right? So what you just have to do is to use this dynamic weight. You can find it in the goals line uh, menu, dynamic weight, 1D. You just have to give all of those small segments again to this one. Uh, the weight, if it's positive, it's going to go into Z direction. And if it's negative, it's going to go down. So just give it a really small number because we don't want to mess up with the length of the rod. Uh, I'm just giving this a really small number. So it just uh, uh, tries to bring it up in the Z direction. Okay, that's it. We just have to give all of those goals to the goals object. Just give a button to the reset, which is going to reset the simulation and the on button which you can just find by searching toggle and giving it a true false to run it to get out the simulation okay after we finally give it to the engine uh, we have the outputs here as the goal function as you can see we have a series of nulls and lines which is going to give us this one uh, you can use this clean tree component in the sets three clean tree and remote to flatten so uh, all of the outputs are going to go in one group and give it to the tree it's going to remove the nulls 
So we just have the lines here. Okay, now we have 70 lines here. And as you can see here, we just divided this to 35. Uh, the reason here is that it's going to give you a series of duplicate lines. So just go to the kangaroo uh, menu and use this utility, remove a duplicate lines. You give it to here. And as you can see here, it's going to remove the 70 into 35. And after we do that, we just have to join them together by going to the curve and join curves. And we will have this curve, which is going to be the bend of the polyline. Uh, as you can see here, if we connect a number, which is going to be in the params menu, a number to the curve, it's going to uh, calculate the length. This is going to be the length of the line after deformation, the length of the baseline here is going to also be, be this number. So as you can see here, this is not really that much. That's the only difference, which is really smaller than 1%. So uh, after we produce the curve, we can give it to a pipe. You can also use the pipe in Rhino if you want to. Uh, but what I suggest, which is really faster, is the mesh pipe component. Uh, just install the uh, mesh edit, I think, plugin, which you can find it in the mesh. And here it is, mesh pipe. Just give the curve to the curve input. And just a custom preview so you can see the results. Uh, a radius, which is really fast. And uh, you can also change the number of segments. For example, if I give it a like 12, you can see it's the number of segments for the pipe. It's going to increase or decrease like three is the minimum. And you can also use it a four if you want to make it like a box. Formation. Okay, now we can just uh, reset the simulation and also change the location of these points in order to turn them on. Use shift to select both of them and just change the location. Remember that if you just pull that too much, too far, obviously it's going to uh, increase the deformation and it's not going to be right. So remember that change the location is logical and it's going to give you the final results. And as you can see, it's really near and uh, that can be the uh, bending of the rod using the kangaroo plugin. Thanks for watching uh, and remember to like and subscribe to our channel and see you next time. Bye.